guys. Long time no see. But no, for real. I haven't done a vlog in probably like a month. And I'm trying to real before we get to ooh Lord, all this light. Sorry, y'all. Before we get to the video. Before we get to the video, let me scoot back so I get all in my face, honey. Before we get to the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on social media. There are links below. And if you're touching on this injury, we'll be back with another vloggy vlog. So I'm excited because, like I said, I haven't done a vlog in a minute, like a month. And at least that's a minute to me. So basically, why I haven't, or why I'm not going to be like um, posting that many vlogs, probably like once a month. Until like October, because you know it's like more stuff to do in October, like all the Halloween stuff. And I love Halloween. So I'm going to be trying my best to do a good little amount of stuff in October. So now am I going to do Vlogtober? If you know, you know. Vlogtober is like you post for the whole 31 days straight in October. Or you can post like one like lengthy vlog per week every week in October. And then I know some people in um over on TikTok, they be doing it every day for 31 days. Or they'll do like a vlog every other day in October or like once a week in October or whatever. So, yeah, that's probably the only time they're going to get, like, multiple vlogs, maybe, for me, or videos back-to-back -back is going to be in October, and in December for Vlogmas, same thing, Christmas, Vlogtober, it's, like, the same thing, just different holidays. Why I haven't really been doing vlogs is because I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube by December 1st of this year, and I will, God willing, <laughs> but my watch time is slowly but sure growing, going up, so I'm excited about that. And um, my subscribers, I'm already almost at 1K subscribers, so I'm not worried about that. It's just the 4,000 watch hours that I need to hit by December 1st, which I really feel like I will for sure. So I'm trying to do the videos that work for my channel and within my niche and niches to grow my watch time quicker and stuff like that and to post more consistently and things. So that's why I'm only doing one vlog a month for now. It's just smarter, honestly, in my opinion, to do like the videos that work work for my channel. Like vlogs do yeah, okay, goodish, but the actual videos that people search up, search up, do even better. So like natural hair videos sheen personnel videos um hygiene product house shower routines skincare routines morning routines stuff like that those are the kind of videos i'm going to do hygiene product house natural hair product house stuff like that that's what i'm going to be doing until december 1st okay and like i said i'm trying to do like a, a lengthy ish kind of vlog once a month every month this is going to be my one weekly vlog for the month of september so basically as you can see i'm like rambling but i got my starbucks so I have a hair appointment at 11 o'clock. I will have to tell you, I tell you it's Thursday, August 29th. Hope you're having a great day and a blessed day. But I just had to DoorDash me some Starbucks. And then I'm going to take an Uber to and from my hair appointment. Um, she's like maybe 15, 20 minutes away. I gotta leave at like 10 30. The food I got was a double smoked bacon sandwich or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure everybody know. Everybody gets it. This one, it looks okay. Yeah, it's just bacon, cheese, egg, and the bread. So I got a Bitsy Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew with oat milk and caramel drizzle. And then it had like a little pumpkin uh, spice or like pumpkin um, cold foam. And then it has like a little cinnamon pumpkin stuff on it. So, yeah. This is how it looks. It looks like it's going to be good, y'all. So I'm excited, but I want to like get some stuff so I can be like, you know, have a little bit of energy. It might seem like I have energy right now, but honestly, y'all know I'm whoops, I'm beat. I don't know, I'm just sleepy still. Even though I wake up like at 7 some 8 some every morning, anyways. But like I said, it's 9 37. I gotta leave like in a little less than an hour from now. So all I gotta do is um eat this and drink this, take a quick shower, and then put on I'm just wearing tights, my little furry boots, and um a little thin like long sleeve shirt. This, it is how. Um, I might wear my bonnet. I don't know because I'm going to my hair appointment. So the only person that's going to see me is the Uber driver. Even though I don't really want my bonnet in public. But it is what it is. Um, I'm probably just going to either try to brush or comb my blown out hair. Because I blew my hair out yesterday. That's another story for another day, y'all. Because I usually use the blow dryer. that um, It's kind of like a brush. It's like black and pink. It might come in different colors too. But I mainly use that, y'all. So, because they like really, because I have thick, 4C, like type natural hair or whatever. So, that brush really does help, like, when it comes to detangling my hair. So, like, I'll section off in four sections. I'll brush it coming out. And it takes down the time as well. It doesn't take that ne nearly that long for me to do it either. Um, but yeah, it gets my hair really, really straight and good and blown out and flowy. And that's why I like it. But I don't have that with me right now. So I had to use one of my 
newer blow dryers I got sent to me for a collab a few months ago. They sent me like two blow dryers, a straightener. I think that was it. But yeah, the blow dryers, they're not cheap. So I'm like, mm, I like them. I like how they blow out. They have a lot of force and stuff like that or whatever. And they're just cute and good. But the only thing is, is that I, I need the one with the, the brush on it, baby. I need the one with the brush on the built in in it. I can't do the blow dryer with the, the paddle brush or the brush or the comb or whatever and be trying to brush out. No. Y'all, so much of my hair came out yesterday. Um, and it was like a tad bit painful and it was like annoying. And I was just like, bro, I'm ready. So honestly, I did the best I could. So hopefully she could work with it. I'm pretty sure she can because she just braided my hair back and like doing my hair. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to tell y'all I'm getting a flip over quick weave because she needed models um to do it. So she asked me to be one of them so she could try the hairstyle out or whatever. Um, she does really good hair in general anyways. She did my hair before a few times. But um, I'm excited to see how it comes out. We're supposed to be doing beach waves. Um, beach curls. Whatever, one of them. And she had highlighted it. I gave her the bundles and the closure a few days early. And she put a few highlights in it or whatever. Like blonde, brownish or whatever. We'll see when we get to I don't know. I haven't seen it yet until I get there. So, yeah, y'all, I'm doing that. I'm excited. And then, uh, I think it's going to be a middle part, I think. And then, yeah. So, just three bundles of straight hair with a straight closure. She got, put the highlights in it. It's going to be so cute. I'm excited. This is my first time ever having highlights in my, my weave. So, yeah. So, I'm also going to be recording that appointment for y'all as well. Um, but only like a little clip or whatever. A few minutes of a clip because I want to do a whole like hair vlog by itself. Um, they'll probably won't be long, probably like 15, 20 minutes if they but so that's why I ain't gonna put that much in here because this is the weekly vlog. But I want to do a separate vlog so you know maximize my content, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I also have the vlog on my phone. So I'm bringing my camera to get the hair vlog for YouTube and then I'm bringing um my phone to get like a short um video, short form video for like Instagram and TikTok. Let me get my hair installed. And the hair, y'all already know, is Black Lab. It's extensions. Don't play. My girl be having the best hair ever. She has straight hair, deep wave hair, loose curl hair, all kinds of hair, y'all. So, I'll link her stuff below. By the way, I don't think I said by the way. I don't know. But, let me hear if I ramble because I don't have much time. But, I'll link her website and all this stuff below. And, um, also, Crystal, when I do my hair, her stuff below as well. They're bomb. She does great installs. Love it. Affordable. Um, and then... The hair is just so amazing. I love it. So, my baby. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. My phone keep going off because everybody's social media is connected to my phone. Because I don't do social media management. But, I'm going to go hurt and eat and stuff like that. And, yeah, I need to drink my warm lemon water. I'm wet, trying to wait for it to cool down. But, I want to drink this first before I do all this because I'm thirsty. But, I'm going to eat. I'll be back. Well, let me taste this on camera with y'all. They did not give me no straw. Y'all, we be having extra straws. From like fast food places. I be keeping my straws. Like the ones that don't be open. They be putting so many. Especially Wendy's. In the bag. Like we get two drinks. They put like 10 straws in the bag. No lie. But let me try this. I think I had this before. But it's been a few years. Mm-hmm. It basically. If you try pumpkin spice. Anything from Starbucks. You know how to taste. It basically tastes like a pumpkin pie in my opinion. But yeah. That's really it. But that cold foam, all that cold foam tastes so good to me. I don't never, like, when I door dash on Starbucks, I never see the caramel. I don't think they be putting fucking caramel on here. It's giving me energy. I should have got some espresso, like, two espresso shots in this. Or, like, got some espresso instead. Like, a brown sugar or oat milk. Comment below and let me know and what y'all be getting from Starbucks. Comment below and let me know. But let me go ahead and end this. Start her to eat. About 10 o'clock, take a quick shower. Put my stuff on, brush my hair real fast, and get out the door. And the next thing y'all probably see is like me sitting down, getting my hair done, or walking to the Uber. I don't know. Anyways, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, y'all. So I was looking busted and disgusted. So I had to hit my girl up, Wigs by C. Siobhan, to get me in and get me right, as always. So she ended up doing me a glutes closure quick weave behind the hairline. She also colored it and added in some really cute beach waves. So let's get into this hair. So you already know I got it from Black Labs Extensions. I got three straight bundles, which were 100% Brazilian. And I also got a 16 inch straight closure. So I just love me some Black Labs Extensions because their hair is tangle free, minimal shedding. Last for years, you can dye it up to 613 and it's full from roots to ends. Use my code XTAV10 for money off. 
Hey y'all, happy Saturday. So we're about to go to go to Aldi because we had to go grocery shop just a little bit and then go to maybe one or two stores after that to pick up a few things. So I want to take y'all with me. So let's go. Like medium. I need dark boo. I don't spend more than seven dollars either. I might get out of Walmart. They got more options. Yeah, you feel like some cracking. Cracking is some nah. medium roast. We already know what you finna give you. This right here. Let me I'm, zoom in. I'm actually not. I'm switching it up. So. Get right there. <laughs> I'm gonna spend $6. They got this one too. Y'all wanna do a logo thingy? I mean, a Lego seat. So I might get one or two. Probably one. I want the unicorn one because I didn't get to finish the last one. But then, I don't know. That was like 80 last time. That's like 20. Unless that was the wrong spot. It could have been a small one. Oh, yeah, it probably was a small one. The movie was just a camera, not the. I'm not looking for the right, uh, ready to go. But it says it's on eight pieces. This might not say what I want to do. It's not. Bro, he's got this one. But I don't know if I want to do this one or not. I'm not focusing. I don't know if I want to do this one or not. I got this one. This MTV. I was looking for a unicorn one and I wanted the rose bouquet, but this, I'm not spending $8. I can't. Not right now. Oh, they got a unicorn behind me. This no, unicorn no, no, no. was about, and then this one was the camera one. I'm gonna get one of these, I both. 50 likes, and she gonna buy this and build it. This one is really cute, you guys. This one's cute. I might do the peacock. You guys do the peacock? I don't know, I might do it. The peacock is really, really cute. I might do the peacock. Cause the unicorn will be cute to have, but I've already like almost did it, so it's kinda like, eh. Little. Once over everything I got, and then I'm gonna show y'all one by one. It's really everything I got. So we went to Walmart. Aldi and then Dollar Tree, but I didn't record it Dollar Tree, but I am gonna show what I got out of there too. So just two cases of spring water, eggs, and then one Aldi bag, two Aldi bag, watermelon, some let's see, another Aldi bag, some Dollar Tree bags, Walmart bags, and more big Aldi bags. So now I'm gonna show y'all, you know. Everything one by one, so I can see everything that we got. Okay, so we're gonna start the Walmart bags first. I want to start doing a Lego sets. So well, I started a unicorn one probably like two months ago, but I lost so many pieces and never went back. So I ended up throwing it away. So now this is basically like a fresh start. So I had got the camera. Oh, I'm gonna turn the right right now, y'all. But I got the Lego um set. It's the one with the camera. 
it's like a little recording camera well it's like a three in one you can do like a little tv you can do a recording camera or a regular camera i think i'm gonna do this one right here um and like i said this is the tv and this is the little recorder i was debating between that one the peacock one and the unicorn one again because i really didn't want to finish it and do that one but i'm just getting next time so yeah i'm gonna do that one probably tomorrow or monday probably monday and just in my wine okay i got some kiss um salon acrylic french tip nails that i'm gonna do tonight so i'm doing some tomorrow y'all will see um once tomorrow comes then we got these white pine and juniper berry um limited edition for breeze sprays because we need some more uh for breeze spray so we sprayed this in the store and y'all it smells really really good so i would definitely recommend getting this because it smells really really good it's on to dollar tree so we are not into Dollar Tree, but i got these hand soaps we need more hand soap this is the dial coconut water and mango and then the dial himalayan salt so yeah i'll get the juice i just got like a toenail clipper well a fingernail toenail clipper from dollar tree and then i had this guy i should have got two of these but um mouthwash for me and then some like scope crisp toothpaste and then i got some cotton balls because i'm going to paint my toes white tonight as well and if i mess up i'm gonna need them and now i got some fingernail punch remover so yeah and then I had got some Ajax for the dishwashing liquid. I should have got a bigger one, but I think that was the only size that I had seen in Dollar Tree. And I'm trying to save a little coin. But then I thought that was not gonna have white nail polish because for some odd reason, lately when I've been going to Dollar Tree and stuff, they do not be having white nail polish. They have every color but white. So they had it, I'm so happy. So I got it. Last thing is just some Windex. These half and half iced tea lemonades by Arizona. This is a 12 pack. So these are so good. Then I got this Friendly Forms non fat Greek yogurt, strawberry. I usually get the plain kind, but last time I got this kind, y'all, it was so good. It tastes way better than me with some fruit mixed in and some honey and chia seeds. So good. I have seen a lot of people that, uh, show this the Pacific Fruit Vineyards wine. So they had a few different kinds like peach, cranberry, pineapple. And I think it was another one. It didn't have blueberry. And I was like, mm, let me try blueberry. So this is how I look. I think everybody know about these. But I got blueberry. Because for some reason, I cannot find the XXL wine blueberry. So I was like, let me get this one. But this is only 7%. So this will be going quickly. Hopefully, I like it. We got some ravioli. We got some Caesar salad. Like the kit. Caesar salad kit. Love these. They're easy to put together. Then we got these to try. So these are some Evolution Fresh Energy um, drinks. So this is organic tropical citrus. It has orange, pineapple, mango, passion fruit, and lime. And it says it has 70 milligrams of caffeine from green tea. And it's basically a cold pressed juice. And it's only 150 calories. Now the total sugar is 35, so that's kind of, eh, not bad. So we got these to try. So I might drink this in the morning well well yeah i'm gonna drink in the morning then we got some tortillas because we're gonna do like street tacos one day pork carnitas or whatever that's the meat to go on one of the street tacos some pulled chicken with barbecue sauce to go on the other one chicken instead of this but that so then we got mashed sweet potatoes i think i've had mashed sweet potatoes before i don't know but we got that and i was like that's probably gonna be good Chobani, what is for me? Chobani Greek yogurt drinks. I kept seeing these everywhere as well. I got mixed berry and strawberry banana to try out. And then they also have a good amount of protein in them as well. I got these chicken milks. These, these aren't for me. These little sushis, these are for me. The shrimp and avocado rolls. My first time ever getting like sushi type of stuff from uh, Aldi. So it's exciting. Then I got this acai bowl. It has like berry, strawberry, granola, the top separate, so that's good. And then I got blueberries, raspberries to go in my yogurt. Got some honey, some clover honey, some cinnamon rolls for breakfast in the morning. Cause we also got eggs, and then we already had bacon already in the fridge. Um, general, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to eat stuff basically. Then I got some coconut macaroons, like chocolate. 
I'm gonna taste one of these in a minute, but I've never had a macaron before, so I'm excited. This looks really, really good. So I got some Stoke or Stock cold brew coffee. Love this, this unsweetened and black, just like I like it. Um, Hilthay Pink Lady Apple Kombucha. This kombucha is so good. I got a Hilthay Kombucha. I like Synergy Kombucha. And it's another kombucha brand I like as well. And then I also got Passion Fruit and Tangerine. This is a good flavor as well. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. I got some chocolate four pack of protein shakes by the Elevation brand. I mean Elevation brand. And it has 30 grams of protein. So that's really, really good. I got some pumpkin spice coffee cream because if you know, you know. The fall girl is loving some pumpkin spice. So I got this. I never had this by this brand before. So hopefully it's good. I have tried their coffee creamers like once or twice before. I still actually have. I think a hazelnut coffee creamer in there that's almost going as well. We got these pancake and sausage on a stick. Bread sticks that kind of got squished. Salisbury steak. Some plant-based almond non-dairy whipped topping. This is going to go on my coffee. Last some things. We got some meatballs. Chicken lo mein to go with the Chinese food I had showed y'all a minute ago. Plus eggs and a watermelon. And a water. So I think I showed y'all already. Yeah, that's not bad at all. We got all of this stuff for like 160. That's why I love Aldi because you get so much good stuff for cheap. I'm gonna put all this away and I'm gonna see y'all probably tomorrow. Cause I don't think I'm doing it for the rest of the day, but if I am, I'm gonna pick the camera back up. And y'all, just a quick little thing. Do not come for me in my fridge. I know it's bare, but bear with me, okay? We eat out a lot. When I say a lot, a lot, which we eventually want to start learning how to cook more and, like, get more groceries and stuff instead of always eating out. So that's why it looks like that. But now back to the schedule of the program. <laughs> Tuesday, September 3rd. So, hopefully, this vlog doesn't come out too chaotic wise because, yeah, the last time I vlogged was Sunday, um, September 1st. So, it hasn't been that long or whatever, but I just didn't want to end it like that. I wanted to come on here for a few minutes, talk a little bit, chat with y'all, and like 
I'm gonna let y'all know what happened on Sunday. It's nothing too crazy. I'm just being dramatic right now, but I'm just letting y'all know so I can do like an outro and not just end the vlog right there. So basically, on Sunday, September first, um, I had booked like a little studio in my city, got makeup done and stuff like that or whatever, to take oh, you know a few little cute business pictures or whatever. And I also had wanted to do oh while I'm talking, I'm going to also make me a little yoga bowl because it's like ten something in the morning and I'm hungry. So I got friendly friendly forms non fat Greek yogurt. I showed this earlier in the vlog when I did my grocery haul. Love their Greek yogurt. But if you're not like a fan of Greek yogurt, don't get it. So I got that and then I got some blackberries and raspberries that I'm putting in there. Then I'm also drizzling it with honey. I'm gonna wash these off. But is clover honey the best honey to get? Or is there, I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's another good honey to get. But let me know, comment below and let me know if you've tried clover honey and if it's, you know, a good one to get. But I'm just drizzle that on top and then I'm gonna make me some iced coffee as well. I know it's a weird combo, I don't care. Like, I don't have a weak stomach and I love to like mix and match different foods and snacks and stuff like that. So I'm not really just whatever. So yeah, but stoke the cold brew coffee. And then I got this Friendly Farms plant-based almond non-dairy whipped topping made with real almond butter. I really eventually want to start making my coffee at home and stop going to like dunkin and starbucks and stuff like that or whatever and then start like you know just putting together my own little drinks and stuff like that like matchas and iced coffees hot coffees or whatever but i want to find like all like for like my little topping or like cold foam or whatever my creamer and my iced coffee or hot coffee or whatever i want to start choosing healthier options like options that are like non-dairy unsweetened or like sugar-free or whatever low calorie low carb whatever that type of stuff i will eventually but right now this is what we, this is what we got this is what we're working with okay and then i have got this this is what i had last time this is the hazelnut coffee creamer i don't know what brand this is but i also have a pumpkin spice one that i showed in my grocery haul as well i had did all this with the pumpkin spice yesterday it was good i really do need something sweet to throw in there per se because these were not that sweet in my opinion but so like i just said i'm trying to do more like unsweet stuff or whatever but anyways well i can add some honey i might add a little bit of honey maybe i might just drink it as these garbage don't care but yeah so let me do that first and i'll be warming mine up sometimes i drink cold but i rather do hot sometimes just to wake me up more so yeah pretty simple i'm just gonna pull a good little amount in there like that much and then I'm gonna pour the creamer, stir it up, warm it up for like a minute or a minute and 30 seconds. Just a little bit, cause I don't want it to be too creamy, like too much creamer. On Sunday, um, I don't know what it was, but I don't know. Like Sunday, for the most part, numb's going right in my opinion. Honestly, I was 30 minutes late to my makeup appointment, but she was so super sweet about it or whatever, so. That went good. She did my makeup so good. I'll put her book info below if y'all wanna, if y'all need a makeup artist um, in Shreveport, Louisiana, or if you're ever gonna travel here and need somebody, I'll definitely put her stuff below. She's affordable and super sweet. But yeah. And then y'all, I was like 20 minutes late to the studio, the photo studio, whatever. I was taking my own pictures, of course. And y'all, oh my God. So basically, it's an hour time slot that I booked. I should have booked two hours. I knew I should have booked two hours. Like, I don't know what that was about. I think I was just trying to be cheap, per se. You know how you're trying to be cheap and you're trying to cut corners? No, baby, pay for it. Pay for it, because it's definitely in this, like, needed. It was, like, 20 minutes late. So, I only had, like, 40 minutes to do my um pictures. Y'all, you think 40 minutes is enough time? It's not. Because I was pretty much prepared for the most part already. Anyways... But now I know what to do and what not to do the next time. Because I will be booking them again. It was smaller than expected. But you can get a little something, something done. Some people, I have seen a few good shoots for sure out of there. So, especially like with professional people, of course. So, I mean, you can get like some good content stuff in there. It's just that I wish I would have booked the two-hour slot instead of the one hour. Because it went by so fast and then I was late on top of that. Which I'm taking accountability for all of it because it's my fault. For some odd reason, Sunday, I was just moving so sluggish. Like, I had all the time in the world. And then, you know, stuff happens. Life be life. And so, I mean, of course. But, yeah, never again. Never again. And this is my coffee. I know I kind of went OD with a little whip topping. But, yeah. 
It's really good. Like I said, it's not sweet at all, though. Like, no. I might add a little honey on top. Like, a little bit. But, yeah. So, basically, that's all really pretty much what happened. Just being, doing too much right now. But, that's basically what happened. I was just moving super slow. And I didn't get all my content that I wanted and needed to get. But, I did get, like, a handful of content. Like, picture-wise. Because, honestly, I just really needed, like, a cute little professional per se a professional like headshot or like pictures a few pictures or whatever to post on like my um business instagram story on the feed get to put on some graphics by graphic design you know a little bit here and there so i feel like i got enough just for that um like i say i can always just do it again um next month or so different outfit you know a whole different theme and stuff like that too so i'm not really worried i'm gonna wash off my little fruit real quick this is just some um, simple and quick i don't really care for granola and stuff like that I might try to look for like a healthy, like sugar-free type of granola, um, like soft granola. I don't like hard granola, so no. So I'm just gonna take probably like eight, what's it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight raspberries and eight blue blackberries and just wash them off. Let me do these first. But yeah, that's basically it. All I want to tell y'all is that how it went. But like I said, I got a few good pictures and I had got, I had to come home and do my short form content so i feel like i did good with those as well for like instagram reels slash tiktoks because i want to start i haven't posted on my business tiktok y'all in two fucking years do you hear me two years that's crazy you know just bring life back to my business pages because it's basically dead bitch <laughs> y'all that's how I had all i want to really say just to let y'all know because y'all probably seen the clips because i did record i want to get like a whole bunch of good amount of like behind the scenes content of me taking my pictures in the short form content at the studio and stuff like that. I was supposed to get like little short video content, like with little props and stuff. No, I didn't have no time. So I took my little few pictures, got that done. I'm just trying to stay positive about it and not be too, too negative about it. So if this came out negative, my bad, sis. Basically, they are always outside doing something and I never know when they're outside fixing on something. Cause it's like this apartment next to us. They needs to get repainted in the windows and stuff like that. And then I think they're also fixing some of our stuff as well outside, but which is fine. But it's like the window is closed, but like one of the blind things is kind of up and I need to go fix it. I be seeing like people be moving by past. I'm like, what is that? Like they be, call, they be catching me off guard, y'all. I be seeing. Especially since I'm here by myself like, right now. But like, y'all. Anyways, so I'm finna <laughs> I'm finna end the vlog on that note. I'm gonna eat this, get some work done, stuff like that, watch some YouTube videos too, read my book, all of this stuff, or whatever. Um, I might start a new vlog as well after this because I'm doing, I'm not really doing today. Today's my nephew's birthday. Happy birthday, Zamir. If you're watching this, I love you to pieces. But we're supposed to go into my apartment pool or whatever. He got some gifts, toys, cake, all of this stuff. But I don't think I'm gonna vlog that. I think I might actually like sit and bask in the sun because I need to get more sun these days and just read my book and stuff like that or whatever. So I need to get some stuff done before then. But let me hurry up and eat this before they come because they should be here probably like in the next 30 minutes to an hour. But I'm going to see y'all in the next vloggy vlog. Thanks for watching. Um, The next vlog I'm probably not going to be until like three weeks from now, like a month. I'm trying to do more, but I'm trying to do more sit down videos as y'all can tell if you watch my other videos. So I get my watch time. Yeah, love you guys so much. See y'all in this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Follow me on my social media. Link below. We'll see y'all in the next video.